Servo Writer is an online word processor that allows you to write, edit, and collaborate on documents, as well as it allows you to publish them into multiple platforms. With the various automation process, we can simplify your business needs. We will see one of the automation process in detail. Today, we will see about the fillable documents in business. Fillable forms help you improve the way you do business. It allows you to type in the required information and sign it using an electronic signature. And we will see the agenda for today. This is going to be the agenda for today's webinar. We will see what will you learn from this webinar. How to create online fillable forms. How to pre-fill data in your fillable form. How to convert existing PDF form or scanned paper form into a fillable form online. How to create PDF forms without Adobe or other softwares. And configuring business workflows with fillable form. Let's deep dive into each section one by one. Creation. In creation, we will see how to create fillable form using Zoho Writer. From the new automation tab, you can choose the fillable template. From here, you will see two types of uh, creation. One is create from scratch and what the other one is create or PDF. Click on any one option to create a fillable template. When you click on create from the scratch, it will be re redirected into a new blank document where you can build and assign a fillable template from the scratch of your choice. So most importantly, once after you create the form, you can export it into a fillable PDF form. From the create or PDF option, you can create fillable forms from the existing PDF forms itself. With the browse option, we can upload any type of PDF document like interactive PDF form and scan PDF paper forms. On uploading an interactive PDF form, the fields will automatically be detected like this. With writer, you can also upload scan PDF forms, which are non-interactive. An AI-based automation detection of PDF form fields makes them fillable. With Writer, you can scan the document and it will automatically insert the fillable forms into the document. This lets you convert your traditional PDF forms to publishable web forms, which will make your work easier. After creating a fillable template, you can download your forms in any of the following formats. Most importantly, you can download as a fillable PDF form from the document itself. Now that we have created the fillable template, we will see how to use our field properties to create a fillable form. Users can easily fill out these forms online by entering information into these fields without being able to edit the document structure itself. So these are the supported field types. We have many fields like a single line text field, multi-line text area, which is to enter text which exceeding more than one line. As shown by the icon, you may input number, email, phone number, etc. When you have to enter the same value for multiple fields, you can easily link them by naming them with the same name. Let me quickly show you how to do so. Now that you have address fields, you can enter the same name for both the address fields and then you can add the value for both the fields at the same time which will make your work easier and it will simplify your work. You can also choose a field to be set as a mandatory field or read-only field. The mandatory fields are mandatory ones and the read-only feature is to control who can and cannot make changes into the document. With this feature, you can easily convert documents into a smart fillable form to share with your clients and business partners to obtain electronic signatures and details that need to be filled in the document. Next, we will see how to pre-fill data. You can pre-fill data into a certain field. Let's say if you have a pre-filled value like your country name or your organization name, to make the work easier, you can enter the pre-filled value before you when you send the form for filling. Are you worried about sending personalized forms to multiple uses in one go? Do not worry. With Writer, you can generate pre-filled personalized documents in bulk. 
Let's say, for instance, the HR department has to deliver a standard insurance fillable form, but with some personal data like name, age, insurance number, dependent might vary in the form. It, that has to be sent for sign. In that case, you can create a data source. The data can be transferred from any data source, and with just a few clicks, you can include information about your respondents that you already have in a file. Hundreds of different links may be created you know, in one go to make the process easier. To start off, you can go to the pre-fill and share option. Now you can add a data source of your choice. If you could see, Writer has already integrated with a few of our Zoho applications. And you can easily import a CSV or a JSON file over here. As my data source, I have used a Zoho sheet, picking an existing one. Then I'm going to map each field one by one and also configure a dynamic list. Then click on next from the data source. You can your email field over here while sending the document for filling you have another interesting option you have uh, you can share the document uh, over a qr code from here i you send for filling now i will show you an example of what the form looks like from the respondent side the dynamic field has been inserted for the dependent field which can be selected by the end user from the drop down itself. Next comes the form content based on conditions. The conditions allow you to display a different sets of content based on the value a user inputs in a certain field. Let's imagine we send a form to our employees asking them to select an age category. However, the rate of interest varies for each age group. How can we use conditions to hide or show those options? Let's see how we accomplish that. I'm going to insert an if else condition. If the age is less than 60, then the rate of interest should be five, else it would be seven. Now click on next to apply the condition into the document. The responders will therefore see various rates of interest based on the value they input like this. You enter a name, you can enter your age, and you see the change over here. If you enter more than 60, the rate of interest for you will be changed. Likewise, with the same scenario, we will see how we can work on calculation fields. If you want to calculate the rate of interest for a certain set of age people with conditions added, insert a new formula for your requirement like this, as I have already inserted my formula here. Once after you update your formula, enter the amount and a year, and the total amount will be determined based on the rate of interest. And this is the outcome for the end user. Next, tab navigation while filling. With this tab navigation option, users can fill out the form without ever having to click a field. All they just have to do is click on the tab button and then fill the form. Okay, now that we have come to the end of creating a form, I can run up a poll over here. Please see the options from the meeting and select your poll of your choice. So, next, form action and submission. Configuring form actions and submission. So once you have created the document, you would wonder how we share or distribute them, right? From the automate, you will see an option on form submission. You can click on any one of these options to enable the submit button over here. Writer allows you to save a copy of the filled document in your work drive. You can set a password if required. Next, the filled document can be sent as an email to any person. You can email as an inline attachment or send as a link. You can set a password over here and send a message to your recipient. You can also send this document for sign collection and the owner of this uh, document can set to various levels of authority to people. And you can also set reminders and expiry date from the advanced settings option. 
Now you can also save responses to Zoho Sheet once after the submit or hits the submit button. Create a new workbook or choose an existing workbook. The filled data will get stored into a worksheet for your reference. You can share the filled data into your customized URL and use it based on your requirement. Next comes the execute custom function option. Execute a custom function and create a new function for your requirement. We have integrated with a few applications where you can use these calorie functions to integrate via connections. Next, we will see how we can share a form for filling. Various permissions. You can provide them with an access level of share, edit, view, and comment. And you can also send them to fill it as a form. The edit field values option is a, is a collaborative filling where you can share it with other users to collaborate and share it with your client finally. Next comes workflow with the fillable. You can embed a form in a website. You can embed it. You can embed your fillable form into your website. So this option will work only if you have a custom domain configured. Next comes the approval or review option. If you want to add additional respondents to your form, so once after the first responder open the form and fill the form, the second responder will be notified via email to fill in the form. And you may also configure responder options once the filled document is submitted. You can allow the respondents to download the copy of the submitted document. You can allow them to email the submitted document. And you can also allow them to send the submitted document for signing if it is only shared within your organization. You click on the save option. You set the responder options. So now we have come to the end of the session and we will see what all we learned from today's webinar. We know how to create an online fillable forms from the scratch using the PDF form. And we also know how to use the conditions and calculations in the fillable form. We also know how to pre-fill and share to fill. We pretty much know how to distribute the fillable form with different access levels. And we know the configure submit action. And we also know the embed to embed a form into a website. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining the webinar and for the interactive questions. It will really make us improve our product and it will help us. You can also make a list of features or use cases you would want to discuss in our upcoming webinars via email. You can write an email to support at Thank you, everyone. You have a great day.